Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today to hear all about the benefits of private sleeping accommodations with Amtrak Vacations. Now, I want to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Jackie Malaki, and I am the product manager here at Amtrak Vacations. Now, before we get started with everything, just a couple quick things I want to mention. Right on the right-hand side of your screen in your GoToWebinar panel, there's a couple of handouts right there. So you can actually click right on those and download those handouts that are there, which has a reference to some of the things that we're going to be talking about today and talking about our great getaway sale there that I'll mention in just a minute. And if you do have any questions at all throughout this presentation, please feel free to type them right into your questions box and I'll make sure to leave some time at the end to get to those questions there. Now, I do want to mention who we are here at Amtrak Vacations and a little bit of our history. So Amtrak Vacations is a part of the Yankee Leisure Group family of brands. So we have a few different ones that we operate. We also have Yankee Holidays which is great for the fly and drive vacation there. So no matter where in the U.S. or Canada you're trying to travel, we can help you out and put together those packages for you. And we also operate Rail Bookers, which is our worldwide rail vacation. So if you're thinking about traveling to Europe, Australia next year, or anywhere in the world you want to go, we can help you out through our Rail Bookers brand. But today we're going to focus on Amtrak Vacations. We are the official tour operator for Amtrak. Now, I always love showing this map of the Amtrak Vacations route system because people are always surprised to see the extent that Amtrak travels to. And on that right hand side of your screen in that handout section, it does have this map here. So definitely click on that. You can download it, take a look at it for yourself. But like I said, people are always amazed just to see all the options that they have for their next rail vacation, whether you want to travel along the East Coast, visit DC, head down to Charleston, Savannah, or if you want to travel out West and visit some of the beautiful national parks there, we can take you there. So what makes traveling with Amtrak vacations different? Well, it's a bucket list experience to travel by train. You're going to see some beautiful sights in parts of the country that you'd never be able to experience by flying or driving. And it's also a bucket list experience to be able to sleep on the train. And we do have private cabins available too. So I'll talk more about the different cabins and what it's like on board the train a little bit later uh, in this presentation here. And I'll give you some great images, things, but it's such an amazing experience to have just to hop on board, sit back, relax, soak in the views, and really enjoy enjoy your time and traveling to your destination. And we also bring you to some amazing destinations and some beautiful national parks. There's lots of freedom and flexibility when you travel with us. We have daily departures for most of our packages and we can customize any of our itineraries. So we always make sure that we're making the perfect vacation for you. And everything we do is hassle free. We want to make it easy for you. So you just give us a call, let us know where you want to go, when you want to travel, and we'll take care of the rest. We are the official tour operator for Amtrak and we manage all their rail vacations. The train offers city to city service. What I mean by this is the train will pick you up in the heart of one city and bring you right to the next, right to the downtown city center locations. So We'll take DC, for example. The train will bring you right to Union Station there. And then you walk out of the station and you're right in downtown, right by the Capitol building in the heart of the city. So very easy, convenient to get to. It's like that in most of the major cities that it's traveling to. So it's so much easier versus flying in where, as I'm sure you've all been there, the airports are on the outskirts of the city and it can take 30, maybe 40 minutes if there's traffic to get to your hotel. We offer something for everyone. So like I mentioned earlier, we can customize all of our rail vacation packages. And we have such a variety of things to offer and activities in the different cities. 
or in the national parks that you're visiting. So if you want a more leisurely trip, you want to do more hiking, experience nature, things like that, we can do that for you. Or if you want to visit more of the museums in the different cities, we can also include those admissions for you too. So again, tons of different options that you have to choose from. Now, I do want to mention our maximum flexibility offer. So we recognize that there's a lot of uncertainty right now as far as when is the best time to travel again with everything that's happening with COVID-19 and just around our country in general right now. So we want to make sure that if you're booking with us, you have a peace of mind that you're not going to lose any money. You will be able to travel, take your vacation, and go at a time that you feel comfortable traveling. So with this maximum flexibility offer, any new reservations that are made up till September 30th, you can change your travel dates or cancel your rail vacation up to five days before your departure without incurring any change or cancellation fees. So again, this is worry-free, no questions asked. Let's say you booked for August, August comes around, you're like, you know what? I just don't feel comfortable. I'd rather wait a little bit and travel next year instead. Give us a call. We'll rebook that for you, waiving any of those change fees that would typically be included. And this also applies for existing reservations. So if you've already booked with us, again, you can change your dates up to five days before your departure. So if you're not traveling till the fall, no worries. You don't have to make a decision today. You can wait till five days before to make a final decision as things change daily. One thing I am excited to announce today is our great getaway sale. So this is running this week only. So this is valid till Friday, so June 5th you can save up to $500 per couple. So if you're doing a 10 plus night itinerary, if you're looking to do a full cross country trip, we'll give you $500 off. If you're traveling for seven to nine nights, it's $400 off. And any of our vacations that are three to six nights, it is $300 off. And there is a handout talking about this great getaway sale and the discounts and number of nights there. All of our rail vacations are customizable and they can start right from your hometown. So if any of you have taken a peek at our website or even you'll notice as we're going through this presentation today, you know, a lot of them, they do start from the Chicago, from the LA area, some of the major train stations. A lot are from Chicago, especially because that's the main hub for all the Amtrak long distance trains. But keep in mind, we can start your vacation right from your hometown or from your local Amtrak station. So just let us know where you're coming from and we can add that on for you. And we can also customize the packages. So just want to refer what I mean when I say that. We'll take, for example, our Rails to the Grand Canyon package. Round Trip LA has two nights at the South Rim and the Grand Canyon there. But maybe you want to spend more time at the Grand Canyon. You want to do three or four nights there because you love hiking. You want to do a helicopter tour. You just want to sit back, relax. I know everyone is eager to get out of their houses right now and do some traveling. So you want to spend more time? No worries. We can add more time on for you. If you want to upgrade your hotel, there's the beautiful Alto Var, iconic property of the Grand Canyon, sits right on the south rim, right on the canyon's edge there. We can adjust that for you. Well, this package is round trip Los Angeles. It doesn't include the sightseeing and hotels in LA right now, but maybe you've never been there. You're not from the LA area, you're from the Bay Area, so you want to spend a few nights exploring we can add that on for you. So again, we can adjust anything. So take a look, if there's something you wanna add to your packages, let us know and we will take care of that for you. So one thing I do wanna talk about and address is how Amtrak is maintaining a safe environment right now. Thank you all for putting in those questions and things you wanted to learn during this presentation as you were registering for it because we went through all of those and we want to make sure that we're addressing it and I know a lot of you are asking what Amtrak is doing right now so I'll take a few minutes to kind of go through the different things so first of all face coverings are required in the train stations 
on the trains themselves and on throughway buses. Amtrak does have a few motor coaches that they operate to connect some of the major uh, cities to some of the smaller towns areas there. So face coverings will be required on all of those. I know one question a lot of you were asking is if you're in your private cabin, do you still have to wear that face covering or can you take it off at all? So if you do one of the private sleepers, you can take that face covering off while you're in your private cabin. So that's one of the great benefits of doing one of the private rooms too, especially if you're doing a full cross country trip, you don't have to worry about wearing that face covering the entire time you're on the train. Again, if you're in the room, doors closed, you can take that off and you know you are protected and safe there because again, it's just you and your travel companion that you're with. If you're traveling, you know, in coach, the other accommodations, of course, if you're trying to eat, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, depending when you're on the train, you can take that off for the meals. But if you're just sitting there in your seat, you will have to wear that face covering. And especially if you're moving around the train, you will be required to wear it. They've done enhanced cleaning protocols, both on the train, so they're cleaning it multiple times throughout the journey. They're also enhancing the cleaning at the stations themselves. So any place someone can touch, breathe on anything, they are constantly cleaning that. So all the equipment is cleaned and sanitized frequently. Amtrak will be going cashless on board the train and contactless. So there is a snack car on the train where you can purchase you know, snacks, meals, drinks, anything like that. Just have your credit card handy. This way you can use that to kind of reduce some of that back and forth with the cash. They will have social distancing posters at the train stations. Make sure that people are, you know, a safe distance that six feet apart, floor stickers. So if you're waiting to check your bag, pick up tickets, anything like that they will have that there. The great thing is Amtrak does e-ticketing and we do provide you with the e-ticket. So you really can just go straight and board the train there. You don't have to wait in line to pick up your train tickets there. And the trains will be running at 50% capacity to ensure people are able to social distance on board the train. So you're not gonna have someone sitting next to you, directly in front of you, behind you, anything like that because the reducing capacity, people will be able to spread out on board the train. So I do see a few people are starting to throw in some more questions about that. So I will get to some of those at the end. Again, if you want some more specifics on this too, please feel free to give us a call and we can go through this in more detail with you. But just kind of want to review some of the biggest things and some of the highlights right now that Amtrak is doing to make sure that train travel is safe for people. So now I want to jump into it and talk about some of our vacation packages that we have and the places that you can go and visit. Again, we have all been stuck at home for so long. I know for me, this is the longest I have ever been home without traveling. So I am eager for everything to be lifted and to get out, start traveling again. But when I do that, I wanna make sure I'm traveling to safe places in a safe way. And the national parks are perfect for that. That's what we've been seeing people booking right now for summer and probably some of the most popular ones are the national park destinations. Because when you get out, so much room for social distancing there, especially in a place like the Grand Canyon. So we'll go through a few of the different packages that we have. So this one right here, our rails to the Grand Canyon. Canyon. You can see it's a round trip from Los Angeles. It's an overnight on the train. So whenever you see the red arrow with the one, that means it's an overnight. So you will be sleeping on the train. You'll be brought to Williams, Arizona, kind of the gateway to the Grand Canyon before heading up to Grand Canyon, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. As you take that train from Los Angeles to Williams, that's done on the Southwest Chief Route. Now we do have options available from Chicago, from the Midwest area. So if you're thinking this sounds great, but I'm traveling from the Midwest or I live in the East Coast, I don't wanna go to LA first. No worries at all. So I said everything we do can be customized and we do have options from different areas for you. When traveling on the train, the pricing things you see, it's based in coach accommodations, but we always offer the options to upgrade to the roomette or the bedroom. So that would be the private sleeping accommodations there. 
When you take the train, it's going to take you to Williams, Arizona. And again, that's kind of the gateway to the Grand Canyon. It's an old Route 66 town. And from there, you're actually going to board the Grand Canyon Railway. And that's the train that's going to take you right up to the South Rim. As soon as you get up there to the South Rim of the Grand Canyon, we take you on a sightseeing tour that brings you to all the best scenic overlooks of the canyon there. And then after that, the rest of the afternoon is at your leisure. And we have you spending two nights right there at the Grand Canyon. So the next day, you have a full free day to explore. If you're very active and you want to do some hiking, you can pack a picnic lunch, bring some food, some water with you, go explore one of the many trails there. You could also have the option to just sit back, relax, and just soak in the amazing views. We also offer helicopter tours, so we can add that onto your package as well if you would like. If you're going to do a helicopter tour, you got to do it in some bucket list destination. No place better than the Grand Canyon. And then after your two nights, you're going to take Grand Canyon Railway, that train, back down to Williams. It travels through the beautiful Ponderosa Pine Forest. You'll arrive in Williams in the evening. We do include dinner for you at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. And then after that, you'll board Amtrak heading back to Los Angeles. There's different types of accommodations on Grand Canyon Railway. You can see the picture here on the left-hand side. That is the dome car. So it has those nice glass windows all across. So absolutely beautiful views there. And that is our Rails to the Grand Canyon package. Again, round trip from Los Angeles with two nights right at the South Rim. Now, if you're looking for a full cross-country rail journey, you really want to see America, experience the great landscapes, the vast country here, this is the perfect one for you. It is our grand rail experience, 14-day bucket list epic journey. This one, it's round trip from Chicago. So you'll hop on board the train there, and it's two nights on the train as you make your way to Seattle. That train route is called the Empire Builder. It travels across the northern United States. So as you leave Chicago, you'll travel west, you'll cross the Mississippi, travel through the North Dakota Plains, through Big Sky Country in Montana. You'll travel right by Glacier National Park. Then as you continue on west some more, You'll reach the Cascade Mountains, winding through the mountains there, and then ending your journey in Seattle. In Seattle, you'll arrive there in the morning and you can immediately begin doing your sightseeing. We include the hop on, hop off tour of the city to take you all around. It'll take you out to the waterfront. You can visit Pike Place Market from there. You can go out to Pioneer Square. You can take that to the Space Needle, which then I highly recommend going up to the top of the Space Needle. You can see it pictured here too. It's such an iconic landmark of the Seattle skyline there. But from up top on the Space Needle, you have amazing views of not just downtown Seattle, but also of Elliott Bay, the waterfront, some of the surrounding islands off to a distance on the west. And on a clear day, you can actually see Mount Rainier off at a distance. So after exploring Seattle, you're going to hop on Amtrak, and this time you're going to ride the Coast Starlight train as you make your way south to Los Angeles. So in that route, as you leave Seattle, you're going to travel through the Pacific Northwest. There's some forest areas. Then you're going to enter California, travel through the Redwoods, continue south. This is where you travel along the Pacific Ocean. I mean, you can see in these pictures here, the train literally hugs the coastline there. That is my absolute favorite section of it. And the train will end in Los Angeles. Then you do have time to explore LA. 
We include that hop on hop off sightseeing tour of the city to take you all around. And you'll notice we include hop on hop offs a lot, but that's because it really is the best way to experience a new city that you're visiting. Because you don't have to worry about figuring out public transportation, paying for taxis, figuring out where you want to go. You can just hop on these tour buses they have there. It'll take you to all the major attractions. They're also guided and narrated, so you can learn about the area, some great places to visit. There's usually a live guide on board as well. And they always give great recommendations too for kind of off the beaten path places you should visit or some restaurant suggestions. So I've done them personally many times throughout the US and internationally as well, and I absolutely love doing them, especially the first day, to kind of get familiar with the destination. So when you go to Los Angeles, it's so widespread that this hop on hop off will take you right to all those places. So you can hop off and see the Hollywood sign. You can take it to Rodeo Drive and do some shopping there. You can head out to some of the world famous beaches like Santa Monica and Venice, you know, take that to Hollywood Boulevard where you can see the Walk of Fame, which has all the famous stars right in the sidewalks there. Tons of different things to do and see in LA and this tour will take you to all of them. After experiencing Los Angeles, you're gonna hop on your next train, which is the Sunset Limited. This one here travels along the southernmost route and it travels through some of the deserts and then bayous as you get closer to New Orleans. In New Orleans, we do include a sightseeing city tour that will take you to the French Quarter, take you out to historic Jackson Square. You'll travel along the mighty Mississippi River as you continue to explore New Orleans. And of course, no visit to New Orleans would be complete without experiencing some of its live music scene and hearing some of the jazz music there. And I highly recommend visiting the brunch, the Court of Two Sisters. So they have a great jazz brunch, some live music they have on there, and a great brunch that they put on. So you sit right in the courtyard, it's right in the heart of the French Quarter. It's my favorite place to visit and to eat when I'm in New Orleans. And then after New Orleans, it's up to DC to our nation's capital. So you'll have time to explore the city, visit all the different monuments and the Smithsonian museums, which actually have free entry there. And we do include the Monuments by Moonlight tour for you. It's great seeing all the monuments during the day, but it's even more magical to see them at night when they're all lit up there. So this is a guided tour that takes you around the DC area, goes by all those different monuments and memorials throughout the city. You learn all about the history of DC. And they talk about it during kind of present day, kind of more modern times as well. So you'll be able to see like the Lincoln Memorial, Jefferson Memorial, Washington Monument, all those lit up and up close. And then after exploring Washington DC, next train you're gonna hop on is the Capital Limited. This is the one that's going to take you back to Chicago. And that there is our Grand Rail Experience trip. Again, it's a two week bucket list, full cross country rail experience from Chicago over to Seattle, down to Los Angeles, then to New Orleans, up to DC, back to Chicago. As I mentioned, we can customize any of these two. So if you are in the West Coast already and you prefer to start there, let us know and we have options for you. Now for anyone that's maybe looking for something a little bit shorter, they just want to do a week vacation, kind of focus more on one area, spend more time in the different destinations. Maybe you want to visit the West Coast and the Pacific Northwest. Here's an awesome one. It's our Pacific Northwest package eight days, starts with two nights, San Francisco. It's an overnight on the train, that Coast Starlight route, up to Portland for two nights, and then to Seattle for two nights. So again, your journey will kick off in San Francisco, where you have your hop on, hop off sightseeing tour. That'll take you all around the city. 
we also include a sightseeing tour of Muir Woods in Sausalito. So you're actually going to cross the Golden Gate Bridge as you make your way to Muir Woods. Then you can get out. There's lots of different trails around there. So you can do some hiking or light walking through the towering redwoods. After that, we bring you out to Sausalito, which is a charming coastal town. It's just on the opposite side of the bay from downtown San Francisco there. Some quaint shops and restaurants to explore. And if you want, you can even add more time in San Francisco and maybe go out and visit Napa and Sonoma Valley. You can do a day trip there or experience the Napa Valley wine train and maybe spend a few nights in Napa. So again, depends how much time you have for your vacation. We can always add additional things on for you. After exploring San Francisco, you'll head up to Portland, famous for all of its microbreweries and its local coffee shops that it has scattered throughout the city. We include the sightseeing tour for you, so it'll take you out to Waterfront Park, which is right along the Willamette River. You can go out to Pioneer Square, which is Portland's original neighborhood, and you can also visit Portland's famous Rose Gardens there. Then after exploring Portland, continue on the train up to Seattle where you have the sightseeing tour to take you all around. You'll visit Pike Place Market, which you can see pictured here. Great place to walk through too. They have lots of local goods, fresh food. So awesome to kind of have lunch there and just eat your way through the market. In this package, we also include admission to the Space Needle. So you can have the amazing views of Seattle and of the waterfront there. And we include admission to the Chihuly Garden and Glass exhibit that's located right by the base of the Space Needle. And it's a beautiful garden and it has these glass blown sculptures kind of all incorporated into it. Absolutely beautiful to see. And that is our Pacific Northwest trip. Again, starting in San Francisco, then heading up to Portland, ending in Seattle there. Another one I want to talk about is our America Coast to Coast. So if you're looking for a cross-country journey, but maybe a one-way journey, here is a great one for you. It starts off in New York City, then visits DC, Chicago, Denver, Salt Lake City, ending in San Francisco. As you're traveling through, again, you're going to kick off your journey in New York City. We do that hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. It is absolutely amazing to do it through New York City because their subway system is so confusing there. You don't have to worry about trying to figure that out at all. Hop right on the tour bus. You can jump off at any of the spots. You can hop off at Central Park walk through there, take a leisurely stroll, explore the area, and then hop on the next tour bus that's coming through. Maybe you want to take that to Times Square, or you can hop off at the stop for the Empire State Building. I highly recommend going up to the top there for the most amazing views of New York City. You can even see the Statue of Liberty from a distance from the top of the Empire State Building. After experiencing New York City, you're going to head down to Washington, D.C., where you can check out all the different monuments, memorials throughout it on the guided tour that we include for you. After D.C., take the train out to Chicago. We include that hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour, so you can take that out to Navy Pier, Millennium Park, where you can see the famous bean sculpture there. You'll have some free time too, so highly recommend taking a stroll along the river walk there. Or perhaps you can even add an architecture cruise and learn all about the history of Chicago from the great fire it had there and how it had to rebuild the city. After exploring Chicago, you're going to hop on the California Zephyr train and you're going to take that out west to Denver. Hop off the train in Denver, and there we'll take you on a guided tour out to Rocky Mountain National Park. So you'll go right into the heart of the mountains there, the snow-capped mountains. Absolutely beautiful. You do have some free time to walk around, explore the national park there. And we do include free time in Denver as well. So we have you staying right by the 16th Street Mall, and that is one of the famous streets that cuts right through downtown Denver, 
tons of restaurants, shops all along there. And there is a free bus that actually runs down that street. So it can take you to all the different areas. And that's right where Union Station, the Amtrak train station is located as well. So it makes it very convenient uh, to get to and from the train station. After Denver, you're gonna take one of the most scenic sections of the California Zephyr as you wind through the Rocky Mountains. And then you're gonna make your way over to Salt Lake City. There we include a guided sightseeing tour for you. It'll take you out to Temple Square where you can see the beautiful Mormon temple there. You also visit Pioneer Square, Brigham Young's estate. That tour will take you up to Capitol Hill which has a great scenic overlook and it has spectacular views of the Rocky Mountains at a distance. And then after Salt Lake City, you're gonna hop back on board the train, making your way to San Francisco. And there we have that hop on hop off for you. So you can take that to Golden Gate Park, okay, to Union Square, do some shopping. Maybe you wanna visit some of the museums there, including the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art located right by the Union Square area. And that will conclude your cross country journey. That is our America coast to coast. Starting in New York City, then heading down to Washington DC, over to Chicago, Denver, Salt Lake City, ending in San Francisco. In every city destination that you're traveling to, we of course include the hotel accommodations, but also the sightseeing tours for you as well. So you really can experience these different destinations. Now, the last package I wanna talk about, but certainly not the least, is Glacier National Park. This one here is round trip from Chicago, but we do have options available round trip from any of the 500 Amtrak stations. So again, just let us know where you're traveling from and we can add the train right from your hometown. Wherever you're coming from, it'll be at least a night on the train. In some cases, if you're traveling from Boston, New York City area, you may have two nights on board the train, be able to see even more of the country, some more amazing landscapes. And again, we can do those private sleeping accommodations for you. So when you're on the train, you can sit back, relax, very comfortable there. At night, you have your own bed right there so you can get a good night's rest on board the train. And then all your meals are included too while you're on the train if you're doing one of these sleeping accommodations. So it's a really great experience to have. Now, Glacier National Park is opening up July 1st this year. So we do have a lot of people that are visiting Glacier this summer trying to go. It is seasonal. It's typically open from June to September, but again for 2020, they will be opening July 1st. So you still can experience Glacier in you know, August, September, and kind of hit closer to the end of the season. Absolutely amazing destination to visit. There's over a million acres of absolutely pristine, beautiful landscapes there. In our Glacier National Park trips, we always include the Big Sky Circle Tour. That is the most inclusive sightseeing tour of Glacier. It's done on these fun red jammer buses. They actually have open tops there. So you can get that fresh mountain air as you're traveling through Glacier. You'll travel along the Going to the Sun Road, which is the road that cuts across all of Glacier National Park, and you make multiple stops along the way. So you'll stop at Logan Pass, which is where the Continental Divide is. You'll stop at Lake McDonald, which is the largest lake in the park. You'll stop at Goat Lick, which is famous for some wildlife viewing. Absolutely amazing tour that you'll have. We also include the Two Medicine Valley boat cruise for you. Now the boat cruise won't be running in 2020, but if you are looking to travel in 2021 or 2022, we do include the boat cruise for you. And we always include your transportation. So when you're traveling to Glacier, you don't have to worry about having a car because again, your sightseeing tour will pick you right up from your hotel. And that boat cruise, same thing for doing that, we do include the transportation out there. We do include dinner one of the nights at the Glacier Park Lodge. Now, there's no easier way to get to Glacier than by train. 
And I say this because Glacier National Park, it's located in northern Montana. It's a remote location, so it's a very far drive for people to get to. But when you take the train there, where the train stops, it's literally 208 steps from the train station to the front lobby of the Glacier Park Lodge, which is where we have you staying. So the train will literally take you right to your hotel there. So that there is our Glacier National Park getaway round trip from Chicago. Now, I do want to mention the auto train real quick, because I know a lot of you were asking questions about this in those registrations, kind of how it works with the auto train and just clarification on exactly what is the auto train. The auto train runs from Lorton, Virginia, so just outside of DC. It goes down to Sanford, Florida, just outside of Orlando. Doesn't make any stops along the way for additional pickup drop offs. So what it is though, is where you board the train in Lorton, Virginia, you get on the train, so does your car. So you can board your car right into it. So this saves you from doing the long drive from the DC area down to Florida. So you can sit back, relax on the train, and then when you get to Florida, to your destination, you get off the train, you pick up your car, and you have that right there for you. So you don't have to pay any extra for a car rental or anything like that. This also means that you can pack all your things in your car. You don't have to worry about any limitations for how much luggage you can bring. Throw it all in your trunk, backseat, anything like that fill up that car there. The auto train does have e-ticketing for check-in. So again, we'll give you those e-tickets right there. So you can just hop right on board the train. They'll have signs. They'll show you exactly where you can leave your car there. There is an option to do priority vehicle offloading. So this way you can be one of the first cars to get off the train when you get to your destination. So that makes it very quick and easy. You can hop right in your car and be one of the first to leave. When doing one of the sleepers in the auto train, all your meals are included there. So you'll get dinner the first night and then breakfast the following morning before you arrive at your destination. And that one there, the auto train, it's a great option too if anyone's looking to go to Disney or do a road trip down to Miami, to Key West, anything like that. Again, that saves you a big chunk of the driving. So you can just sit back, relax on board the train, then hop right in your car and continue on your road trip. Now, if you're wondering what hotels we use in the different destinations that we go to, we have quite a variety for you to choose from. We have three, four, and five star options. So anything you need, just let us know what you prefer and we will find the perfect match for you. So why should you take the train? What are some of the benefits of traveling by train? Of course, there's the private cabins right on board. So I know everyone wants to practice social distancing. No one wants to be crammed on a bus or on a plane. So if you go on board the train, again, you can do that private cabin and you don't have to interact with others. There's also limited capacity that's being allowed on the trains in general. So even if you're in coach accommodations, you're still not crammed. You have tons of space to spread out there. You can avoid the bustling crowds at the airports there. When you're traveling on the train, you have beautiful scenic landscapes. And you don't have to do the driving. You can just sit back, relax, maybe have a glass of wine there as you're traveling through you know, the Rocky Mountains. And the train travels to places that no cars can go. So you're not on you know, boring highways the whole time. You're winding through the mountains. You're traveling along the Pacific coast. So absolutely incredible experience that you'll have. Now, one thing I get asked a lot is, how do you pack for a train trip? How much luggage are you allowed to bring? So you can bring two free carry-on bags, and then you're also allowed to check two bags free of charge on the train. So I always tell people when you're traveling on the train, anything that you're going to need when you're at your destination, always check those bags. This way you don't even have to worry about it. And just bring a small carry-on backpack, something like that, for things you're going to want while you're on board the train. I always say bring some games too. 
bring a deck of cards or a game that you know is easy to travel with because it's really fun just to do that with your traveling companion and really enjoy the time on board the train. Now, for the different accommodations, there's coach accommodations. It's not like coach on the airlines at all. There's a lot more room and space that's there. So you can really stretch out your legs. The seats are climbed back at a 45 degree angle. Right now, if you're traveling on Amtrak, you actually would not see three people in a row like that, as again, they are distancing people. You can see the luggage racks right above their heads where those carry on bags, backpacks, anything like that can go. If you're traveling in coach, you do have access to the sightseeing lounge car, the dining car and cafe car where you can purchase you know, food, snacks, anything like that. You are allowed to bring your own food and snacks on board the train too, so that is an option. But whenever traveling on the train, I always highly recommend upgrading to one of the sleeping accommodations because this is where you get the full Amtrak experience. It's two seats during the day, then at night, those seats fold down to be bunk beds. Don't worry, you don't have to figure out how to put all that together. There is a train car attendant who will take care of all of that for you. If you're doing the remet at the end of the train car, there's a bathroom and shower, and that's exclusively for people in your specific train car with remet accommodations. So there's not that many people that will be sharing those there. And all the meals are included as well. When you're doing the remet, you can see it right here. You get your private accommodations. There is that privacy door, so you can close that door there. And again, right now, you are required to wear masks on board the train, you know, throughout the stations during the boarding process. But once you're in your room, you can close your door. You can take that off uh, for a bit while you're in there. If you're traveling with your family, another couple friends, anything like that, let us know because we can actually book two remets that are right across the hall from each other. So this way, if you all want to keep your doors open, you can kind of chat with each other there. There is the lounge car, things like that too. But if you want to stay, you prefer to stay in your rooms, this way you can still see and chat with each other. And when you take the train, again, I mentioned the great benefit of doing the train versus in airports is you don't have to go through, you know, these busy airports, tons of people roaming through from everywhere. If you're taking the train, let's say to Glacier National Park, for example, the train stops, you step off the train, and it's right into the open spaces, and this is the view that you see. So that lodge in the background there, that is the Glacier Park Lodge. That's actually where we have you staying in all of our Glacier National Park packages. So great benefit. Again, it's perfect for social distancing. I think this is why so many people have been calling us trying to book Glacier National Park for travel in August and early September because they see the benefits of taking the train, having the private cab, and they don't have to interact with others. They step off the train, you know, open spaces. They can always have that social distancing there. If you are doing the sleeping accommodations, you do board separately. So you do have access to the lounges, the metropolitan lounges in the different stations there. All the major train stations have it. And you can actually board the train directly from there. The other option is the bedroom. The bedroom is a little bit larger, so there's more space in there. The biggest difference is the bedroom has its own private bathroom and shower right in that room. So you don't share that with anyone else. The seat where the lady is, I know it's a, a little cut off there, but it's more like a couch. So you could easily fit two people side by side. She could lay down there and take a little nap during the day if she wanted to. Uh, that's the one that becomes the lower bunk at night. It does get much, much wider um, when it's the bunk bed at night. And you can kind of see it just above her head uh, sitting at an angle right now, but that is the upper bunk that gets pulled down. And again, the train car attendant takes care of all of that for you. You just let them know when you would like that done. Here's another picture of the bedroom. Again, you can have a bottle of wine, have a beer, just sit back, relax. If you are traveling in one of the private accommodations, you can bring your own beer and wine on board the train. So you can drink that in your room there. If you're traveling in coach, you can't bring your own, but they do sell it at the cafe car there. 
but it's definitely great. I highly recommend it. If you're on vacation, why not relax? You're not driving. The train is taking you to these places. Bring a nice bottle of wine. Have a cheers. Enjoy being out again, being able to travel and taking your vacation. Now, I mentioned with the Romette in bedroom, the meals are included with the private sleepers. And right now, Amtrak is delivering those meals right to your private sleeper. So the dining car is temporary closed there. Your train car attendant will come by. They have the menus there. So you can take a look, put in your order, and then they will bring those meals to you. So you just have to let them know what time you would like that. And again, nice, easy, convenient. They'll bring it right to you. And if you're wondering what kind of food, what kind of options, it varies a little bit based on the different train route that you're on. But for the most part, they always have, you know, for dinner, a pasta option, a chicken, a steak option. Uh, when you're doing dinner, they'll have your salad to start you off. You have your entree and they always give you a dessert. So their cheesecake is definitely my favorite, but they have like a chocolate cake, a tiramisu and a few different things that you have to choose from. So just want to mention again, our maximum flexibility offer that we have. So again, any new reservations, you have the option to change your dates up to five days before your departure and we'll waive any change or cancellation fees. So that'll give you a little peace of mind there when booking with us for travel this year. No worries, if you decide later you want to change your dates, we will do that for you. And I want to remind you about the great getaway sale. For this one here, you can save up to $500 off per couple, depending on which vacation you go with. And we do have a few other discounts available too. So if you're doing a family trip, you're bringing the kids, children ages 2 to 12, get a 50% discount on the real portion of their trip. Seniors, so anyone 65 or older, gets a 10% discount. And then active military and their families get a 10% discount as well. Now, today, I only talked about a couple of our different destinations that we have in a few of our packages. We have so many more to choose from, so many destinations throughout the US and Canada. So when you get a chance, definitely check out our website, AmtrekVacations.com, and that's where you will see all of our options that we have. And I do want to mention our upcoming webinars that we have for later on this month. We have Coast to Coast Rail Vacations with Amtrak Vacations. So that is next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. The following week, Escape the Crowds, seven national parks to travel to by train. And then the last week of June, we have five close to home getaways to visit this fall. So we'd love to have you join us on some of our upcoming future webinars as well. Now, don't forget, if you haven't downloaded the handout, the map on the right hand side of the screen, you can do that now. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to type it into your questions box there. It looks like we do have a little bit of time left to get to some of those questions. But before I do that, I do have one question I want to ask all of you, because I always love hearing this. So what real vacations are you interested in and when? So I'd love to hear what different destinations you all are thinking about, whether it's one I talked about today or even if it's something else I have not talked about yet. I'd love to hear from you all. So you can actually just type that right into your questions box there. So, okay, it looks like we have a lot of people that are interested in Glacier. So we have Zach looking at Glacier. We have Caitlin looking at Glacier in Seattle. Tons of different options. Let's see, Jill Jones is looking at Rails to the Grand Canyon. So the very first package I talked about and Glacier National Park as well. So yeah, I didn't talk about it today, but we do have some packages that are combinations of doing multiple national parks. So you can do Grand Canyon with Glacier. You can even add Yosemite. We have other options with Yellowstone. So tons of different things because looks like Jim is interested in Yellowstone and Grand Canyon. So we can also do those two as a combination. So thanks everyone for sharing that again. Just love hearing it. But I do want to say, you know, when you're ready to book, we're ready for you. Or if you have any questions, give us a call. We are all here for you. Like so many others, we were forced to go home base suddenly, but 
We are all set up in our home offices and we would love to talk to you and help plan your next vacation. So with that, let me get to some of these questions that you all have here. So we have a question from, let's say, a Douglas. Can you move between private accommodations to an observation or open air car? Interested in the 14 day total cross country tour. So yes, we you can Douglas. So while you're on board the train, if you're in one of the private accommodations, whether it's the roomette or bedroom, you're not stuck there the entire time you're on board the train. You can get up, move about the train, there is an observation car and all the long distance trains. Uh, there's a snack car and a lounge car. So you do have the ability to go to those different cars, kind of stretch your legs. Again, that's the beauty of traveling by train. You're not confined to your seat or your space the whole time. You can kind of venture to some of these other areas. You know, once the dining car does open again, you'd also be, you know, leaving your room to go to the dining car, have your meals there. They will continue with the option of if you want to eat in your room, they'll always bring the meals there, but eventually they will be looking to open that up again. But they, won't, they don't wanna rush it. They wanna make sure when they do it, it's a safe time that people can still social distance and things like that. Let's see, so lots of great questions that you all have here. Whoop, it's just slid through the wrong thing. <laughs> we have a question from Kenneth. Do you have a webinar about Canadian Rockies? So we don't have one coming up this month about Canadian Rockies, but we do have lots of Canadian Rockies packages. So we can do them in combination with Amtrak, some US, some Canada combination travel. So definitely give us a call and we can chat with you in detail about the different options that we have for those there. We have a question from Edie. Can I plan a trip that allows me to spend a couple of days at some cities and then reboard? So yeah, you certainly can. So that's what we do, you know, for a lot of our packages that we have that I've talked about. But if there's other cities you know if it's one i talked about but you wanted to do more stops throughout it no worries let us know we can certainly add additional ones on for you we have a question from robin where's luggage stored in a romet so Great question. When you're in your remet, they do have some storage underneath the seat and there's some next to the seat and a little shelf above. So that's why I always recommend just bringing a small carry-on or backpack for things you're going to need while you're on board the train. This way you have more room in your private cabin there. And any of the larger suitcases, things like that, go ahead, check those, don't even worry about it. But there is space to store. Uh, luggage, things like that in the remet. As soon as you board the train, you'll also see there's a luggage car right there. That a lot of people in coach, you know, have access to as well for them in the different trains. So you can store your bags in there too if you don't want it in your room. But again, best thing, just check the bag. Don't even worry about it. They'll give it to you when you get to the station. We have a question from Grant. The discounts getaway sale seem to talk about Amtrak vacations. For anniversary, my wife and I are planning a rail trip from Atlanta to Seattle through Chicago. Does any discount apply to customized rail travel only? So Grant, yes, that discount will apply for your customized rail trip too. So we do have a handful from you know, Chicago to Seattle, we can add the train to Atlanta. So we'll work with you. We may actually already have a package um, that fits what you're looking to do. But even if you are looking to customize a trip, that discount, that promo will apply for that as well. So it looks like you guys have lots of great questions that are coming in here. So Thank you so much for all of these. And I do apologize because it looks like we are about to run out of time. Uh, so if I don't get a chance to get to your question there, please feel free to give us a call and we will be able to help you out with anything. So let's see, we have a question from, 
a question from Bobby. Uh, you mentioned that dining cars are closed for the time being for safety reasons. Is that also the case with the sightseeing lounge? So various on the different trains there. So the lounge car itself, they are going through, you know, it's people will be allowed to go in there because that's where, you know, you'll see the snack car, grab, you know, a breakfast, lunch, any meals, anything like that. So you still do have access to it. You'll find right now, most people aren't using it, but once we kind of get through this, they will open everything up again. People will start to feel more comfortable traveling, being out and about. If you're definitely traveling to you know, the lounge, snack car, any of those areas, you'll definitely need to have that face mask on. If you're leaving your private cabin, you'll wanna put that back on there. Question from Robert on the auto train and sleeper, where do we eat in the room or dining car? So right now on all of the trains, the meals are being brought to the room. So you would eat that in your private room there. So I do wanna say thank you so much everyone for taking the time for joining me today. And I do apologize, there are a lot more questions that I didn't get a chance to get to. Um, so please give us a call, reach out to your local travel agent, and we can help you out. So take care. Hope you all have a wonderful day.